and welcome to the 2017 FIA Formula E HKT Hong Kong e Prix. We're here for the first event of the season. This is season four of the Formula E Championship here in Hong Kong. Great skyline behind us. My name is Dan Wells. Firstly, I'm a racing driver based out of Hong Kong, and I'm going to be commentating the event this weekend. So if you're trackside, you're going to be hearing me discuss about the race. So we're here today on the setup day. We're sitting meeting with some of the drivers. We're going to have some questions with them, ask them their thoughts about Formula E, the cars, the electric power, what they think about driving them, and also being here in Hong Kong. So join me and let's go there together. So, Elo, thanks very much for joining us and welcome to Hong Kong for the first round of uh, season four of the FA Formula E Championship. So tell me, you've done Formula 3, you've done TFGTM, this is your first time with Formula E. Uh, what brought uh, Formula E to your attention? What's, uh, what's attracted you about it? Well, Mate, it's a big opportunity for me as a, as a racing driver. You know, Formula E is a fast-growing championship. It's a little bit of a place for me at the moment. Um, Fans in there. Yeah, and I had a little chance to do this in the fall, this summer, end of the summer. So she's the best Formula E car. You take one of them, two might actually be okay. Investing and now racing with them. So, no, it's, it's a very cool one. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, it's going to be for sure a very challenging year. Uh, many things to learn, but yeah, looking forward. Yeah. So obviously you have a bit of a reputation when it comes to street circuits. Obviously, uh, Mrs. McCall comes to mind. Um, so do you think you're going to be able to transform uh, that sort of form? No, it's a good line. line. It's a beautiful tassel. I really hope so. Yeah, in class, I tend to sort of like to compete uh, or to be a little bit more competitive on that. Street, street uh, circus, the right thing. And um, yeah, and I hope it's going to be the crazy comedy championship. I mean, um, you really watch out more in the street circus, the comedy uh, so, uh, I hope it's going to be like that. So, what is it about driving on the street circus that reminds you of that? What do you have to do differently as opposed to one of the more traditional events? Well, I mean, uh, you have to obviously uh, pay more attention to. Uh, to, uh, I mean, any kind of mistakes that you can do, but I don't want to be doing mistakes in the world. Um, there is, uh, you need to find, you need to find the right balance between uh, how much risk you take and, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, the, basically the risk that you take, uh, you normally take the risk. Uh, the high chances to crash the car, and if you don't take that, so many, let's say, you know, you're not competing. Uh, might it like really, really good. Uh, uh, you have to listen, be very precise. Like, you know, to go as close as you can. So, uh, this is normally the line. Making the difference. A lot. That's super important. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of difference with the, the back end of the car yeah. between the things. Obviously, the power train to give us how it's powered. Um, so, what are your expectations going into this season? Um, for you, your teammates, and for the whole, what, what do you think you're going to be up to? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, we have some uh, testing in Valencia. Uh, since then, the team has worked uh, yeah, a lot on the team. all our issues, and, but we couldn't really tell where we were, uh, where we were standing against the others. So, this first uh, race weekend in Hong Kong will tell us a little bit uh, if we are competitive or not. Yeah. I, I hope it's going to be the case and that we can have uh, a really good season. Um, otherwise, we will uh, work even harder. You know, and um, so what, what do you think about Hong Kong so far? You've been here before, obviously, on your travels to Macau, but have you ever spent much time here? What's your impression so far? I've been, I've, I've been coming in Macau, you know, for so many years, and obviously when you go to Macau, you know, you're obviously going uh, uh, to Hong Kong, and um, yeah, I've been here more than a couple of times, actually. I, I like the city, I like the atmosphere, uh, very friendly people. It can be quite busy, quite a lot of traffic, uh, but it's a... Uh, it's a fun and it's a cool, uh, cool city in general. Okay, well, welcome and uh, thanks very much for talking with us and best of luck this weekend with the first race here. Thank you. So, Alex, welcome to Hong Kong. Thank uh, you. Welcome to season four of the Fire Formula E Championship. So, what are your thoughts coming to Hong Kong for the first event? I think as a team we're pretty excited. It's the second year in a row for, uh, for Hong Kong to host the first E3 of the season. Uh, last year, the team were on for a fantastic result with Sam leading up to the next stop. Actually, quite make it out to the stop correctly. But in terms of coming here with expectations, I think we expect to hopefully find the final run. Okay, that's awesome. So, uh, what are your thoughts on Hong Kong so far? You visited here before, or is this your first time? So, the only time I've been here before was in transit to Macau, I was in the Macau Grand Prix. Uh, so, I've spent a couple of days here, but not really taking in many stops. So, this week's been my first opportunity 
to actually take in the city itself and uh, get out and enjoy it. So obviously you came into Formula E last year in New York actually, you took Paul on your debut, which is uh, an awesome debut to come into the series and really make your mark on that. So obviously you're in the for a whole season alongside Sam for this year. Um, what are your expectations? What are you planning to achieve? Uh, how are you looking at the team from your so obviously we go in with a bit of a blank sheet of paper, we don't really know where we're going to stand until tomorrow's lights go out on Saturday. Um, we know who we think is going to be good, you've obviously got your, your Audis, Renaults, Mahindra, a really very strong team, but it's our aim to, to fight those guys. And I think the, the main attraction to Formula E is, it's not like any other racing series where you know sort of who's where. Because of the format, it's a bit unpredictable, you don't really know what's going to happen, even though we think, for example, uh, it's the fastest car. I'll still be surprised if they're on pole because it's it's not easy to, to deliver the performance in this championship. Yeah, I think that's something which a lot of fans are really excited about the fact that yeah, you've literally done so until the point. So how do you find you've always gone well on street tracks obviously? What do you find you know about driving every you've driven it in the simulator, I guess? What do you think about the Hong Kong circuit? The Hong Kong circuit I think is one of the tightest and choicest that we have all season. It's What's cool about it is it's one of the true street tracks, you know, like nothing's been changed, nothing's been resurfaced for this event. It's just as the roads are on a normal commuting day for the commuters of the city. So from our side, it's, you know, we get it as it comes. And that, that for us, I think, is drives us exciting, exciting about it. You, know, you, you don't change anything, it's just put some curves down some walls and let's go racing. Absolutely. Uh, we wish you best of luck this weekend and also for the season. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing where you uh, start on the Saturday night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, look, Oliver, thanks for joining me here in Hong Kong for the first race of the Formula E uh, for season four. So, you have a, a host of uh, experience, a wealth of experience in McLaren and Formula One, and also with sports cars and single seaters. How do you find driving Formula E cars in comparison to that? I think it's um, really exciting formula to be involved in. Um, you know, I joined Formula E at the end of season one in London and, uh, with uh, Neo. I've uh, been with the Neo team now for the last two seasons. So I'm entering my third year with the team. Uh, really proud to be racing for them. And, uh, you know, I think uh, it's a fantastic championship. We've seen the growth of Formula E over the last couple of years and certainly uh, you know, the, the level of manufacturing interest coming in the championship is really impressive. The level of the drivers in the championship is even competitive. So really proud to be part of the series and uh, you know, great to be here in Hong Kong for the first round. I think last year was a you know, great race, great spectacle, great location really here in the centre of Hong Kong. So it's uh, yeah, another great place to start the season. Awesome. So uh, last year you won two on the grid, obviously, in qualifying and then the racing goes as well, but of course the teams are all developing their packages in order to be in the front. How do you feel you've improved over the winter? What's the team been working on and what are your expectations for this weekend? Yeah, no, last year was... Uh, Great start for us in the weekend with the qualifying having a front row lockout. So um, yeah, the race was a bit more challenging for us, but um, I think we uh, we've been working hard on that over the winter, and our testing has been been pretty good. Uh, you know, the team put a lot of effort into the new car for season four and made some changes. So yeah, certainly um, went to Valencia knowing we had a quick car, but uh, you know, obviously wanted to see where you are with the competition and uh, to end up quicker than day one and day three was a nice feeling. It gave us a lot of confidence. And, we have a quick car. Uh, obviously, we need to see how we fare in the race. You know, with the energy uh, we in the race, it's a little bit different. But uh, you know, I think we made some good steps there. Uh, so I'm really confident. So tell me, the cars themselves—they look similar to last year. Obviously, the very different. There's going to be a lot of technology uh, changes throughout the winter. What exactly will the team be working on between season three and season four? Yeah, I mean, on, on the outside it might look the same, but obviously on the inside, you know, the power. We've made some changes between the powertrain and uh, also you know, some changes uh, in terms of how the powertrain operates but uh, you know, I think those, those steps are what everyone's trying to improve so you know, that's the uh, beauty of what Marie is really you know, pushing the technology of electric cars and developing electric powertrain and, uh, the competition is going to be very high we know from last season how competitive the field is but uh, I'm, I'm sure we've improved a lot since last year so uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see where we are this week. Great, and you've obviously learned a lot from driving into cars, it's a great it's a way of driving in like yeah. cars, and like cars, a Formula 1 car or anything, a little bit more conventional, especially with everything like parking and space and street services. Yeah. But how do you find, what do you think you're going to do your expectations on it this year? Are you going to be in for a type of challenge or are you quietly confident? I'm always feeling 
confident. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be, we know how confident it is. I think uh, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be tough. Um, but no, I'm feeling confident myself and feeling that the car was good in testing. So I think we, uh, yeah, we have to see where we are this race weekend. Uh, I think we can challenge the podium, so that's, that's the aim. And, um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we wish you all the best and uh, yeah, good luck with the race weekend. Thank you very much. Thanks.